Particle news now. Physicists on the Large Hadron Collider. Is there a small Hadron Collider? Do you know? It's always yeah. the large one, isn't there? There is a small one, is the short one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they've noticed something, these physicists, quite extraordinary. Subatomic particles behaving very oddly. A hundred years of physics may be, well, just wrong, really. Apparently, E may not equal MC squared after all. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of T-shirts <laughs> getting sent <laughs> back. <laughs> what does it mean, though? What have they discovered, exactly? Time travel's possible. I can kind of explain it, I think. They're breaking the speed limit and effectively moving yeah. faster than and the speed, speed of light. Yes, yeah. Who better to explain this exciting discovery to us than the legendary astronomer and expert on the universe who's been beamed to us by the wonders of the space age via satellite all the way from West Sussex. Sir Patrick Moore, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Sir Patrick, it's a great honour to uh, have you on the show. Well, I'm very glad you're here. Thank you very much. But could you explain to us, uh, Sir Patrick, about this news from the Large Hadron Collider? In layman's terms, what has gone on there? The point is, they claim to have found certain particles, you see those, which are travelling faster than light. Now, according to Einstein, that can't be done. Now, I don't pretend to be a good mathematician. I'm not. But I'll go on record as saying that I just don't believe it. I think there's some mistake there, and I think Einstein will be vindicated as usual. What would Albert Einstein have made of this, that his theory was perhaps wrong? E equals MC squared no longer valid? All kinds of theories are wrong if these results are right. Because uh, it's, a fund it's one of uh, Einstein's fundamentals. And I say, personally, at the moment, I'm a total sceptic. I may well be wrong, but that's my view at the present moment. We await further information. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it true you actually met Albert Einstein? I did indeed. I met him once, long, long ago, when I was very young. Uh, actually, I was uh, just 17. I was uh, over in America learning how to navigate an aircraft. And I was given a week leave, and I went down to America, and there I met Einstein. I'm very glad that I didn't did meet him. He was exactly what I expected him to be. Old, worldly, courteous, delightful, charming. Yes, sir, a very unusual person. Another person I met on that same journey was Orville Wright, the first airman. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, have you got a question for Sir Patrick? Sir Patrick, I was a child of the space race, as it were. When I was a kid, it was all the Apollo missions and the cosmonauts and all that. And we were told, I remember, that landing on the moon and the space race in general would lead to all sorts of major advances and that you'd be able to predict earthquakes and stuff like that. And as far as I can tell, all that's happened is there's been great advances in camping equipment. <laughs> that's what no, that what, what that, happened to the earthquake predicted? That, that, frankly, is nonsense. <laughs> There's talk this week of an out-of-control satellite plummeting to Earth. I mean, by the time yes. this programme goes out, it might have landed on top of us. Who knows? Should we be worried? No, don't worry. Uh, most of it will break up and disintegrate on the way down. Bits of it are too large and they won't. And they may land to solid chunks. And um, the chances of them hitting anybody are infinitesimal. I, mean, I think I'd say the chances of you being hit by a piece of it are about... 50 million to run again, so in the words of Call for Jones, don't panic. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to ask Sir Patrick, is it true that we've had a, a, a breakthrough in teleportation technology and are we ever going to be uh, zapping about like on Star Trek? Again, at the moment, that is sheer science fiction. Teleportation, fault travel, time warp, space warp. They're all science fiction. But don't forget, 500 years ago, television certainly would have been science fiction. And science fiction does have a habit of turning into science fact. Mm. And that may well happen, although when and how, I know not. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're an amazing man, Sir Patrick, and it's an honour to have you on this show. Thank you very much indeed. Let's hear it for Sir Patrick Moore. Never <laughs> heard you, my... My very best wishes to you all. Will I be able to use that quote on my posters? What's that? <laughs> Absolute nonsense, <laughs> Patrick Moore. <laughs> <laughs>